got another video to talk about that was uh, even more controversial than, <laughs> than you shooting a deer in the spine and not finding it. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're you're uh, you're standing up for Lou uh, video you did. It's funny when you read the comments because I'm like, did these people watch the same video I made? Because uh, the comments don't match, especially um, outsider comments. I think people heard things, didn't watch the video, made comments. But uh, in the video, I just basically said, John's a great guy. I like him. He's a good hunter. You know, but mm -hmm. uh, that when he said that stealth strips specifically hold scent, that's damaging to a company. Yeah. And, and it was damaging to Lou. Um mm -hmm. And he shouldn't have did that. And I didn't mean that he he's, a, you know, that I hate him or anything like that. I just said he shouldn't have said that. Um, but he was right. It does hold scent. And I said that. Yeah. I said, but so does your bowstring. So does your, your straps on your sticks. So does your straps on your stand. So does your tether. All that stuff. And all that stuff you treat by spraying it down. I mean, just do the same thing with your stealth strips. I mean, that's what the video was about. It wasn't about bashing John or, or whatever. Um, he even yeah. left, left some uh, long rambling uh, message on my uh, YouTube that had nothing to do with the video. I even wonder if he watched it. Yeah, I think I think everybody just assumed it was about um, scent control. Um, and it was more more or less just you standing up for. Um, for Lou and I guess to make like as a third party person like that knows you and Lou like you guys Lou does not sponsor you or give you money or anything to like people just thought you were standing up for some sponsorship product and it's like that's not the case at all like no we're just buddies you, you and Lou been go way back and yeah yeah just friends essentially um that was the only thing that was the only comments that were annoying me was they were just just saying that you're uh, really upset I mean you're talking about uh you know a fellow Michiganer or I mean just uh, yeah. Lou just singling out his product, and he was really not happy about it. Yeah, Lou, so Lou pretty angry. Lou and called I, I me. Told him, I said, I don't think John meant anything bad about it. I don't think he meant to do that. It's just John. He just, you know, I don't think he uh, really He's realized. Was, yeah, yeah, that he was going to damage his product or company. I mean, Lou had people calling up wanting to send back the stealth strips and stuff. And yeah, it's like. Yeah, he called me about a week ago or more than that now, I guess, and was kind of venting to me about it too. About uh, some some guy called and wanted to return all their stealth strips, and he's like, "Could ask why?" And like, he's like, "Well, John told me that it was, um, it smelled or what or, or held scent, and he, you know, um, but and like you said, it probably does, but um, oh well, yeah, it was, I. <clears throat> I, I like watch a lot of John's stuff because he he's like, uh, dude, the guy kills a ton of deer. He killed a nice eight pointer in Michigan the other day again, you know? Um, and I'm like, I have a lot of respect for him cause he is 70. I think he's 72 or three. And like, man, I hope to God, I mean, I hope I can still do what he's doing when I'm 73, you know, um, that'd be awesome. But, uh, yeah, I wish sometimes I, I think he, sh he should give more credit where credit is due, though. Like, exactly. instead of, instead of um, I said uh, that in my, my, my post, I said, uh, I said, uh, uh, John, you're a great hunter. And I think you should give yourself a little more credit instead of claiming that it's all because of a product. Yeah. Uh, I I think he himself is a, is a good hunter, and that's why he's got some stuff on the wall. Yeah. And it ain't really as much about scent lock as possible as he claims. I mean, if it was all scent lock, I mean, I mean, that's just taken away from him. I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah. I agree with that. I think he's probably like one of the, as far as like deer behavior and stuff and then word set up on deer and stuff, he's probably like one of the best in the business at it, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's why, you know, why he's so successful and whether his scent lock, I'm sure it, all that stuff, helps minutely but i think his credit needs to be to his knowledge and his woodsmanship you know and i did hear something i watched one of his videos the other day and he mentioned like technology kills deer and that kind of rubbed me the wrong way i'm like ah oh, man john know it you know that's that's in my opinion and this is my opinion what do i know you know i've killed a fraction of what he has but it's like 
that's going the wrong way. Like, you know, it's like, that's, that's not the point of it uh, to me, at least. It's like, you, you know, for me, um, and I mean, he made a comment about how, uh, um, I was, uh, like lying to my base. I don't remember the word he used. He used some long word for it and, and, uh, telling him that scent control didn't work. And like, it's not a lie. It's just what I believe. I mean, I don't tell you you're lying because you tell people to use scent control. You know, um, but I do, I am a little biased there because going on to what you're saying about technology, um, if scent control really worked the way he says it works and you can be completely scent free and not get winded for 19 years, that's not fair. That's, that goes beyond fair chase, in my opinion, because literally if you could take my scent away, I know I could just sneak right into bedding areas and sneak up on bedded deer and kill them. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, I sneak up to them now you know, with crosswinds and stuff and get really close. If I could sneak up under blindside and come in there on a wet, rainy, windy day, I mean, it wouldn't even be fair. So, I mean, I think that if scent control worked as good as what some people make it out to be, it would be unfair. Yeah. Just, just me. Know. That's going yeah. to probably get me bashed again, but whatever. No, I don't know. I yeah, I don't. And who knows, man? He he kills a lot of deer, so maybe it helps him enough to ma matter. Uh, yeah, you, he couldn't, sure puts you, a lot you couldn't hunt the way I I hunt and use scent control, anyways. Yeah, I was because I, I was thinking wet basket. By the time I'm a mile back or through a swamp yeah. or, or whatever, I mean you can oh, wear your yeah. scent lock into to water that's you know belly deep. You know you know you can come on. Well, that's what I in Ohio. This was all going on when I was in Ohio, uh, and. The one morning I had a two mile walk through a, uh, it just rained too. And there was the Creek was Creek bottoms were all wet and stuff. And the rocks were super slippery. I fell like three times walking back in the dark and I was frustrated and I had sweat so much. When I got to the stand, I took my clothes off. Like I took my everything off. I was naked from the top up or whatever. And, uh, like I literally could ring my, I ring my undershirt out and I just left it. It was too cold. It was already cold. You know, it was like 35 degrees. And I just left it at the bottom of the, sh I'm like, I'm not putting that stupid thing back on. I'll freeze to death up here. Uh, but yeah, I was thinking that as I was walking back there, I'm like, there's no way I could do what he does. Uh, yeah. Well, what not... do you do on a trip? Like when, when we went to Michigan, I mean, there wasn't like there yeah. Was showers and. Yeah. I mean, I think those guys just don't. On the way home like from that, Michigan, you know? I smelled so bad. I had to drive with the windows open. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it wasn't that bad. I was in there. You ate, you ate an apple every day. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how I brush my teeth. <sighs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, I just don't think those guys do that, Dane. I think I don't think they. Um, I don't think they put themselves in that situation. You know, I think uh, when they they go out of state, I think they stay in hotels and. Yeah, there's probably different ways they hunt. I mean. Yeah. Different, uh, you know, I don't have any problems with it. Any, any way anybody no. else hunts. It's just that some of them have a problem with the way I hunt. Yeah, I mean, I got I got buddies and stuff that still, like, they put all their clothes in totes, and I don't have any of them that don't pay attention to the wind at all, but they, you know, they do all that. And, and some of them, like, swear by it. Um, And a lot of them are killers, too. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's all about what makes you uh, confident and, that's, I think I'm still convinced, like, that's probably like 70% of killing a big deer is just being confident yourself, you know. Believing in it. Yep. And if that takes, if it's uh, washing your clothes and putting them in a tote, that's probably what you ought to do. Um, but anyway, and I went down the, I mean, I went down the scent uh, control path more than once in my life trying to figure it out and all that. And I just never could. And it's probably more my personality than anything. You know, I just get tired of doing it kind of thing. And like, golly, this is too much work for me. Right. Um, if you spend but, a half an hour before going out getting uh, dressed out of a tote and all that crap, you lose a half yeah. an hour of hunting. I think that half an hour a day of hunting would be better for you than that half an hour you're spending working on your tote. Yeah. Yeah, probably so. My problem was I'd always like, after I was done hunting, I'd always like get in a hurry and like, I want to get home or I got to go do something. And then I just end up wearing my crap around anyway. Um, so, so for me, I mean, really the, a hunt for, for a, a, a trophy white tail buck is a one-on-one -on -one thing for me. And for my personal uh, outlook of it is, is um, it's a, it's a game like, like a chess mm -hmm. game. 
as deadly a consequences, but it's still, for me, it's like this game of, between me and this buck. And for me to take away his sense of smell or sight or something doesn't seem fair. It seems to me like uh, beating that is part of the game. Knowing how to play to win, knowing how to play to thermals, knowing how to how to approach him correctly, knowing how to get around him when the wind's blowing the wrong way, rather than trickery or potions or whatever that are going to make your uh, scent go away or make make their vision go away or or jam their nose or or whatever else they got out there. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't yeah. even like calling to deer. I mean, uh, the other day, uh, um, I. I had a buck close and I wanted to call to it and I, I almost felt guilty. It's like, well, you know, then I'm not doing it natural and don't take that wrong. I got nothing against any of that. And I've called in plenty of them with a grunt call. Yeah. It's just like that there's something to me about putting myself in this exact tree. I need to be in for an exact buck knowing where he lives, where how he's coming out, where he's going to go and being in the one spot you could possibly be in and kill him. I mean, that, that's the challenge for me. I, I The bucks I remember the most are the ones where I did everything perfect and he did everything he was supposed to and came from where I thought he was going to go. And those are the ones that are just really feel like a, a badge of honor, where if you're just out there tooting on a can or something and something comes running in there, for some people that is the hunt. I mean, some oh, people... Yeah. Are, yeah. Love to see the, the the pure adrenaline of a deer charging in with steam coming out of their nostrils. To me, my hunt, that's not it. That's not it. Yeah. And that's not you judging people about how they do it either. No, just, no, you're just, yeah. I think I think people mistake like some of your opinions as judgments, and it's like that's not he's just telling you what he I likes, you know. Or what anybody he else does, I worry about Dan and what yeah. Dan believes and what Dan thinks. And uh really I don't care if the guy next to me shoots, shoots a crossbow, a rifle, you mm -hmm. know, 16, whether he uses scent control, don't use scent control or anything else. I just care that he's having a good time, has a good sense of humor, and we go kill deer. Yeah. Ah, that's another problem is a lot of people don't have a good sense of humor. So right. <laughs> you, you get a little uh, emotional about some silly things. But uh, anyway. Hey, everybody. If you like the channel, make sure you subscribe right here. And if you like the clips, I got two more options for you. Two options right here. Subscribe right here. See you guys.